Okay, so now the we will uh, the look at the, some the discrete group and the isometric group of hyperbolic space. So so far we define uh, some infinity object. So if you have uh, some hyperbolic space, that hyperbolic space, then we define uh, the it's a group boundary. And uh, we if you have uh, some discrete group uh, acting on hyperbolic space. So then we define a limit set the, on the, the group boundary, okay? So why we define some infinite thing, that, I mean, the, like uh, the group boundary, the limit set, so this is uh, it's not inside the object, right? So this is just uh, infinity, the object. So, because uh, in, we actually the, we want to know the the information on the uh, action on hyperbolic space inside, but uh, the infinity object and also the Palmer X on the infinity. So, like uh, the group boundary and the uh, limit set, the uh, so. So, by looking at uh, the the infinity the action, the you we can. The, I mean, decode the information on the inside action. Okay, so that is a philosophy. So that's why the, we define uh, the infinite uh, object for the for for the study of the discrete group action on the hyperbolic space. Okay, so first let me start with the uh, the simple thing. So JX manifolds, you know. So this, the corresponding to uh, some discrete groups in the G. So if people want to find uh, some discrete groups, so because of people want to find out uh, the GX manifolds, okay? So, but here, the in symmetric space, so including the hyperbolic space, there is a famous, uh, the rigidity theorem, the, the most of rigidity theorem. So let G, uh, be uh, the non-compact simple regroup the, of dimension the bigger than three. So that is equivalent to G is not isomorphic to the SL2R. Okay, so then if you have uh, the two radius, comma one and comma two in G, so radius means that uh, if you, uh, the quotient by, quotient the, the G by the comma one, has a finite volume, then we say that the ready the, the discrete group, we say that the discrete group is a radius. Okay. So the gamma one, gamma two be a radius, then if gamma one is isomorphic to gamma two, then they are conjugate in G. So this is uh, the famous the most obvious theorem. That means that uh, there are there is uh, just a unique the the structure, GX structure on the manifold, the, so whose fundamental group is isomorphic to gamma one, okay? So there is a no deformation. So, so this is really the theorem is so strong. So if you find the radius, then that's it, okay? We, you, we cannot define uh, some different other the, the discrete groups. The, in the neighborhood of the, the radius, okay? So the beyond the radius, the people want to find the discrete groups. So the well-known thing is uh, the Taikuma space. So as you know, the, the Hong Tech also defined uh, the Taikuma space, but this is uh, the classical the definition of the Taikuma space. So I want to uh, give you. So S, let S be uh, the connected screws Riemann surface. So Riemann surface means that one dimensional complex manifold. So it, so open chart is in the, the complex plane and the transition map is a biholomorphic map is uh, the Riemann surface, okay? So they think of the, the pair, the Riemann surface and the map F, so F is uh, the, some orientation preserving diffeomorphism from S to Y. So we fix uh, 
you know, that we fix a minimum surface S, okay? Then think of the all pairs of the Riemann surface Y and F, the orientation for German diffeomorphism F. So then we give uh, some relation on the space. So to pair the Y, Y, F, G, G are equivalent if, so this map is homotopic to the biohormoping map. So then that gives us a equivalent relation on the space of the all pairs, such as two all pairs. The tachymer space is defined by the set of the all equivalence class of the, this one, pairs. So we said that uh, this pair they mark to the Riemann surface, okay? So there is also the famous the theorem, so-called the uh, uniform homogenization theorem, so if you have a Riemann surface, I mean the complex structure on a surface uh, with a negative the only number, then admits a complete metric of the curvature minus one. So that means the S has a the hyperbolic structure. Okay. So it has a yeah, it has a the affine chart equivalent to the the complex structure. So which gives uh, the hyperbolic structure. So by uniformization theorem, if you have a pair, any pair, the Riemann surface Y comma F, then so up to conjugation, you can have uh, some representation of the fundamental group of surface into the PSL2. So uh, and uh, also here, the, also the, the well on the theorem, the Nielsen realization theorem. So any isomorphism between the two, the, surf, the fundamental group of the surfaces is induced by uh, orientation preserving the quasi conformal homeomorphism, the edge. Okay. By using the two theorem, the uniformization theorem and Nielsen the realization theorem, you can see that the tachymer space is uh, homeomorphic to the the set of the conjugation class of this phase for representation. So in PSA to R. So I, here and also note that the discrete phase for the, the space of the discrete phase for representation is of course in the reference and bright. Okay. And also this is a co the corresponding to the hyperbolic structure. So so it is a the hyperbolic structure condition is an open condition. So the tachymer space is open and close in, in the representation variety. That means that uh, the tachymer space is a component of the representation, whole representation variety. And also the tachymer space is a homeomorphic to some R. Okay. okay. And uh, Okay, so we have uh, the hyperbolic structure, right, on uh, the, some uh, surface with the orient number. Then the, we, uh, I want to the, say uh, some important lemma, the mirror of lemma. So gamma x on property is continuous co compactly the by isometry on a proper the rank space X. So then the X is a finite generated and the, the orbit map. So comma to the X given by the, like this, is a cosy isometry, okay? So we can apply the, this lemma to the hyperbolic structure, okay, like this. So uh, if you have a, the cross this cross surface of genus two, genus, genus G, the L is the two, and the uh, hyperbolic uh, structure, hyperbolic, hyperbolic representation row. So then the, it's a quotient is uh, the hyperbolic surface homeomorphic to the sigma g. So the row, the, the image group acts on the, the two dimensional hyperbolic space, the property discontinuous tree and the uh, co-compact tree. So by mirror of lemma, 
the orb maybe is a quasi asymmetric. So quasi asymmetric means that the the, the orbit map that looks uh, like this. Okay, so so th this is uh, just a it's a picture. So the orbit map maps uh, so so this is a calligraph. So geodesics in a calligraph to uh, some uniformly. Oh, sorry, so here uniformly quasi geodesics. So that is a picture so in the Tycoon space. Okay. So this the action. This action is inside the hyperbolic space, right? So we want to the, look at the, the infinity action. Okay. So here is a one remark. The, so type of why Tycoon is uh, important. So so people some people want to the study the some mapping class group. So to study the mapping class group, the, we need uh, some space, so on which the mapping class group act. So Tycoon space is a very good uh, space uh, to study for studying the mapping class group action. And also the mapping class group action on the high Tycoon space is probably discontinuous. So the Tycoon has, has been an important thing object to study the mapping grass group of our surface. Okay, so now next to the move to the three-dimensional case. So in three-dimensional case, we define uh, the function group because the, the master rigid theorem, by master rigid theorem, so radius is a uh, rigid, so we don't want to the, the look at the, some the the radius the, which is rigid, so we want to find uh, some the flexible the discrete group. Okay, so first uh, you can uh, the naturally you can uh, find the discrete group in the hyperbolic three space like this. So we have for uh, the hyperbolic the structure, the representation, right? The in Tycoon space. So then the we there is a canonical the embedding of a PSL two R into the PSL two C, right? So we can embed the hyperbolic the structure representation into the PSL two C. So this is called the function representation. So it's an image group is called the function group. So function group the acting on the hyperbolic three space, so which preserve the hyperbolic two plane. So totally geodesic the subspace of hyperbolic three space. So which is isometric to hyperbolic plane. So and uh, it's a remit set is a round circle, and the, the disc discontinuity domain. Of gamma, so consists of two the disjoint open hemispheres, so upper and the lower hemisphere, and the the quotient its quotient space is a uh, the two space two the Riemann surfaces, so one is a uh, corresponding to the hyperbolic structure, so in this by the gamma, and this is a uh, some orientation the uh, reversing the the hyperbolic structure on the orientation reversed the surface. Okay. And its uh, orbit map is a quasi asymmetric embedding, so as I said. Okay. So the quasi space is uh, the surface cross the interval, open interval. So just uh, like this. Okay, why the, the function group is important? So it has uh, some stability property. So, so more pre precisely, if you have a function representation, then if you perturb the this representation, function representation, then the deformed the representation a little. It has a uh, the same the structure as a function representation. So, in other words, so there is a 
rho prime is uh, this is a deformed the representation of functional representation. So this invariant it has a this invariant uh, remit set. So and uh, there is an equivalent to homeomorphism like this. So that means the gamma prime is a uh, homeomorphic to circle. Such a the stability makes uh, the functional representation uh, important in the study of the hyperbolic space. Okay. So from this viewpoint, the, we define a function, quasi function group. So gamma be a the finite generated Kleiner cell group of PSL to C, the whose limit set is a topological circle, and the, which preserve the each component of domain of discontinuity. So then, so gamma is called quasi function. Okay. So this definition is a. Uh, uh, Need uh, just the uh, remit set is a topological circle and the pressure of the each component of gamma, the, the discontinuity domain, just two things, right? So, but, uh, so we don't know that uh, every quasi function representation comes from the function representation. I mean, the, the, if you have, if you give, if you have a quasi functional representation, deform the quasi functional representation to the, the function representation. So that is question. So, but uh, here it turns out that uh, it is true. So the following are equivalent. The gamma is a quasi function, and uh, there is just a function representation. The so quasi function representation is a uh, Obtained by the that all function function group by quasi uh, conformal homeomorphism the F. Okay. So so any quasi function representation comes from uh, the function representation. So now the our uh, give a notion of the convex co convex representations. So people think that the, the function representation and the, the quasi function representation has a so nice the property. So at the boundary and, uh, and so on. So the the notion is generalized to the convex co compact representation. So the definition is uh, the there are many the equivalent definition the, for the convex co compact representation. But here I just I want to give uh, some by the definition by using some quasi isometric thing. Okay. So representation of gamma into the isometric group, the orientation preserving isometric group of the hyperbolic space is a convex co-compact if so its orbit map is a quasi isometric embed. Okay. So that is uh, the the definition of the, the convex co compactness so here, okay? But you may wonder if the, the word, the convex co compact so because the quasi isometric embedding thing is uh, far from the convex co compactness right? But the, the following theorem gives you an idea the why we call such a representation the convex co-compact. Okay. Okay. First theorem: the the if rho is a convex co-compact, then so its image group is uh, discrete, and uh, the corner is finite. The, because the the orbit map is a uh, quasi symmetric embedding, so the it, it image group never be in discrete, and also. The corner is corner cannot be the infinite, okay. And also the gamma is a group hyperbolic. Okay? So because the the tau, tau rho, so this orbit map is a quasi isometric embedding into the hyperbolic space. So this hyperbolic space is a group hyperbolic. So I I mentioned the 
the only space which is embedded into the delta the group hyperbolic space is group hyperbolic. Okay, so the carry graph of gamma must be the delta hyperbolic. So that means that the gamma is a hyperbolic group. Okay, and also there is just uh, some continuous the dynamic preserving the injective equivalent map on the boundary. Okay, so here is boundary. Because the, if you have a tau row, the quasi asymmetric embedding of the calligraph, actual calligraph into the HN. So this means that this gives uh, the boundary map. Okay, see gamma and boundary HN. So this is uh, so this map. Okay. So convex co convex is a very uh, good uh, representation because it gives us uh, some discrete group and uh, the domain group is a uh, group hyperbolic. So, and uh, it has uh, some good dynamics. And uh, the, this pr the following proposition also gives uh, the why we call a uh, convex co convex. Okay. So representation is a convex co convex. Then the rule gamma is the image group X convex uh, co compactly on the convex hull of its limit set, okay? So, in other words, the image group, so there is uh, some convex set such that the image group acts on the convex set the com compactly, okay? So we can prove the disproportion the very simply, because we know the the, the property of the delta hyperbolic D. So the first one direction is very easy, because the so if rho gamma is group acts on co-compactor on the convex hull, so then the tau rho is a convex quasi isometry from the gamma to the the convex hull, right? Because by the mirror sub lemma. And also the convex or is convex. So this inclusion of, I mean, the inclusion of the convex hull into the hyperbolic space is isometric embed. So this means that uh, this orbit map is a quasi isometric embedding. So because the one is a quasi isometric, quasi isometry, and the one is isometric embedding. So by composing two maps, you have uh, the quasi isometric embed. So the other direction. So clearly, so the convex hull is a rho gamma invariant. So choose uh, the the base point in the convex hull. So then the it's uh, the image of the orbit map is contained in the convex hull. Okay. So then and the convex hull can be formed as a union of all idea the polyhedral, the n simplices, okay, in H. So with uh, the endpoints in the limit set uh, of gamma, rho gamma, okay. So this is a usual process to the construct the convex hull in in the Euclidean space, but uh, this works for the hyperbolic space because uh, we have a Kleinian model, I mean the projective model for hyperbolic space. So then the straight, just a straight line is a geodesic. So this process works for the hyperbolic space. Okay, so keep in mind that convex hull is uh, formed like this, okay? So tau rho extends the quasi isometric. So now that we suppose that uh, the representation is convex, co-convex. So that means that the orbit map is a convex quasi isometric embedding, okay? So the tau rho extends a quasi asymmetric embedding of calligraph of gamma into the hyperbolic space. Okay. So now, and also the orbit map is orbit, the image of orbit map is uh, contained in the convex hull. So it suffice to show that the image of the, the calligraph under the map, the tau rho is a course dense in the convex hull. Because the tau gamma is a convex or 
course retains in the tau rho c gamma. Okay, so this is a, just a trivial. So we want to show that the tau rho c gamma is in course dense in the c, the convex R. Okay, so it shows uh, two distinct points on the limit set, G and W. Then there exists uh, some, the sequence X and Y and in, in the orbit. So X converts to G, so Y and converts to W. Okay. So then by the, the variable property, so there is just uh, some R such that the, the geodesic, the joining the X, Xn and Yn is contained in, so the neighborhood, R neighborhood of the tau rho C gamma. Okay. Because tau rho, tau rho is a quasi isometric embedding. So, so tau rho maps the geodesic the, to the uniformly quasi geodesic. So then we can see the, this one. So, we can conclude that the the this the endpoint the converging point the g the the geodesic joining the g and the w is also contained in the this neighborhood. Okay. So that means that uh, every geodesic with endpoints in the limit set is contained in the R neighborhood of the tau rho c gamma. So then it's enough because the uh, H and the uh, hyperbolicity. So every triangle is thin, delta thin, right? So that means that every the idea, the simple X is also thin. So that means that there is just a B, some universal constant B. So if T is a ideal simplest in hyperbolic n space, then the every point of T rise within so the B of on edges of T. Okay. So the picture looks like this. Okay. So this is ideal triangle. So then the every point in the this ideal triangle within uh, some uniform distance away from the edges. Okay, so that means that every point is uh, uniformly bounded away from the, the convex of. So the rho gamma, the X on the convex hull, the co compact ring. So, so this is uh, the proof. So this proof involves uh, so just uh, the, the hyperbolicity of the hyperbolic space, right? So we can see that why the the, the existence of quasi isometric embedding map guarantee the the existence of a convex co compact domain on which the the rho gamma the acts. Okay. So uh, okay, here I want to give a short remark about the generalization of the convex co-compare representation. So I said that there are many the equivalent conditions for the convex co-compare representation. So actually, I uh, described the, the I write the four condition, four equivalent conditions for the convex Cochrane representation. So first, so this is just definition, right? So open map is a quasi asymmetric embedding. Second is a reproof thing. So there is a convex set on which the rho gamma x preparatory dispositions Cochrane three. Third is uh, there exists a continuous rho equivalent uh, injecting map from the boundary of gamma into the boundary of the hyperbolic space, okay? For the every limit point is uh, conical. So conical means that, so, so like this, so conical limit point means that if, if you the, read the, 
this point is uh, the limit point, then there exists uh, some geodesic towards the theta and the uh, R label. There is an R neighborhood. So here, there is a convergent sequence inside here to the this end point. Okay. So this is a definition of conical limit point. So anyway, the, the every limit point is a conical, then the gamma is a convex copper. So this is a uh, the uh equivalent conditions for the representation to be the convex core compact. So people want to actually the generalize uh, this condition to the higher rank. So higher rank means that the Hadamard manifolds, the symmetric space of non-compact type uh, of higher rank. So because the uh, hyperbolic space is a uh, one of symmetric space, so so this is a, but the, this is a very special thing in the three manifold theory. But anyway, the, the hyperbolic space is one of the symmetric space. So people think that the there is a, some nice uh, notion the corresponding to the the convex co-compact representation in hyperbolic space. So in in the higher rank symmetric space. So there has been many trial to generalize uh, this notion to higher rank. So first, I want to mention the second condition. Second condition is that there is a convex set on which the, the group acts properly discontinuously co-compactory, right? So this condition so works well in rank one, uh, symmetric space means that the symmetric space, so with the uh, negative sectional curvature, like a uh, hyperbolic space, but this fails in high rank symmetric space. So 2005 and 2006, Quint and Klein and Reeve uh, resolved uh, this issue. So they proved that the uh, XB uh, higher rank uh, introduced by symmetric space, so this is high rank. So then if gamma is Jarsky dense, so then there are no proper cross gamma invariant cross subset, okay? This is a totally different uh, situation as uh, the rank one symmetric space, I mean the hyperbolic space. So in higher rank, actually there are no cross the, no proper cross the gamma invariant convex subset. So that means that if the group is a convex co-compact, in higher rank, then the group is uh, just a uh, lattice, okay? So this does not give uh, some interesting the, the discrete group in higher rank, right? So just uh, we know that the lattice in higher rank, uh, semi-simple regroup. So second condition is not, yeah, second condition in higher rank, uh, in hyperbolic space, for the convex co-compact representation is not good in higher rank, okay? Does not give a new category of discrete groups in higher rank. So after this fail, so Rabri the proof that the, the Hitching so, yeah, Hitchin representation is anisotropic representation, so called. So, Rabri does in the, the give uh, some notion of anisotropic representation, and uh, he showed that the Hitchin representation is anisotropic representation. He used uh, some so anisotropic dynamics on the on the boundary action okay, in higher rank. So this also works for the arbitrary, the, the symmetric space of non-compact time. So Kisha and Bina, 2012, so they so extended the notion of anisotropic representation given by the robbery to the general 
the Home of Hyperbolic Group and uh, the arbitrary the symmetric space. Okay, so actually the Hitchin representation was developed by Hitchin, right? So independently, so so Rabori they interpreted the Hitchin representation the, by the, some some notion of dynamics. So so and then the two thousand twelve uh, the fourteen the Kupfer ribbon forty also the study the independently. To generalize uh, the notion of convex co convex representation to higher rank, so they uh, generalize uh, so this one, three, four, the notion, the condition, but uh, they need uh, some more the added the condition. So, for example, one prime. So tau rho is uh, just is not just a quasi isometric embedding, just Morse. And uh, three, not uh, the Roy Kim and the Homer the anti regular thing. And uh, four, just not conical. So we have to add uh, the regular anti okay. Right there. So anyway, they, they, are succeed, they made a success uh, to generalize the convex concombing, the given condition for the convex concombing representation to, to higher rank. Okay. And also the convex concombingness is extended to the, the geometric finiteness. So, so definition of the geometry finiteness is very simple. So gamma is a geometry finite if the the quotient manifold of the, co, the convex whole of the remit set of gamma by the, the gamma action is a, the, has a finite volume, then we say that the gamma is a geometric finite. Okay? So convex co-compactness is also the geometric finite because the quotient manifold is uh, just a compact, right? So, so geometric finiteness is a more general the notion than the convex co -compactness. but. The one problem is uh, the it does not have a uh, I mean uh, stability, so there is uh, some stability issue. So it is involved with uh, some relative hyperbolic group. So, but I do not say here. Okay, so now. Uh, Okay, so now though we have a convex co compact representation, and uh, we know that the convex co compact representation has a stability the property. So that means that if you find uh, the convex co compact representation, if you perturb a little, then you obtain a, a, again the convex co compact representation. So the, it gives uh, some open. Uh, space in the, the representation variety. So uh, in hyperbolic geometry theory, so it was very important to study the space of granular groups. So here, the, I will give us some important result in the study of the space of the granular groups. Okay. okay, so we assume that, uh, so, so gamma is discrete, non elementary finite energy subgroup of PS3 to C and the whose rim set is connected. So then the, you can define uh, it's a Tycoon space as uh, the Tycoon space in dimension two. So idea is uh, to use a quasi conformal the home morphism. okay? So if you have uh, uh, some discrete group, Cranian group, then its uh, Tycoon space is defined as the set of all representation which has a row equivalent quasi conformal homeomorphism. Okay, like this. 
So that means that we can we want to deform the, the original the group gamma by the cosy conformal homeomorphism. So there is a very natural the, the idea. Then there is uh, some uh, important theorem regarding the space of the gradient groups. The first, so alpha, the finite theorem. So that means that the gamma is a, uh, if gamma is a finite generated gradient group, so we non empty the domain of discontinuity, then it's a quotient space. The omega quotient by gamma has a finite number of component, and uh, each of which is a compact Riemann surface with a finite number of the points removed. So that means that the, the quotient space is uh, some finite union of Riemann surface. Okay, so the, for quasi conformal map of Riemann spheres, is a uh, turns out that it is differentiable almost everywhere in the Riemann surface, and also there is a very uh, essential the object in the study of quasi conformal the map. So, so called the uh, Beltrami differential. Okay. So, if you have a quasi conformal map F from the Riemann surface, Riemann sphere to Riemann sphere, then we can define uh, the, the Beltrami differential of F like this. So, partial F of the partial bar F. The partial F is defined by like this. Partial bar F is uh, defined by like this by using some analysis in the complex plane, okay? So then the, it's a sum norm is a risk than one. So, so in other words, uh, the quasi component map that gives uh, some major function the, whose sum norm is a risk than one, okay? The converse direction is also works. So, the mean, I mean, the, there is a famous, the, the bare term equation. If you have a, just a, if you choose a, the, the measure function mu, okay, whose the sum norm is less than one, then, and we think of the, this equation, the bare term equation. So then this, the equation has a solution app. So there is a orientation prism in quasi conformal the homeomorphism of C hat. So and also that this mapping is uh, the uniquely determined of the post composition of conformal mappings. Okay. So the conformal map is corresponds between the I mean the conformal map and uh, the the space of the Beltrami. The differential has a one to one correspondence. Okay, okay so to find the, the unit four, uh, on the, the domain of discontinuity, the measure function and the uh, sum norm is less than one and the mu is gamma invariant. Okay, so the question by like this, then you can we can have uh, the Tigerma space. Right? So the, there is a uh, the bare size morphism. So there is a natural the homeomorphism from the Tigerma space of gamma to the Tigerma space of uh, the infinity the surfaces. Okay, so the that means that the surfaces of I mean, the quotient space of the domain of discontinuity of gamma the, by the gamma action. Okay, so this is a so the Arthur's finite theorem give, means that, that this space is a disjoint union of the Riemann surfaces. 
So we can write down so the product of the type of space of Riemann surface. Okay, so so it is a very uh, it is not it is a difficult to see uh, the proof if you use a bell term equation because you can define uh, the map the expression explicitly. So if you have a uh, some. Okay, so if you have uh, some Tachyma space here, so then the, you can give, uh, we can get uh, some bell term differential, right? And also e this bell term differential gives uh, some, uh, so gamma invariant L infinite uh, measure function on the discontinuity of domain and we can extend the, the, this the measure function to the whole the Riemann, uh, Riemann sphere the, by setting the, the value of uh, the, on, the value of mu tilde on the limit set uh, zero. Then the, we have uh, the measure function on the Riemann sphere. So who's the sum norm is less than one, okay? And also the mutual that is clearly the gamma invariant. Then we can get a we can solve the vector differential. Then we have uh, some the Koji component map. So that gives us uh, some a point in the Tachyma space of gamma. Okay, and also the inverse map is also defined by like this. If you have uh, the convex Koji conformal homeomorphism, then from this, we get uh, the bell term differential. So that means that that gives a point in the, this Tachyma space, <clears throat> the, the infinity surfaces. So the, by constructing explicitly the inverse map, the, we can prove that the beta is uh, the homeomorphism. So we, but due to the, the bears, Bears the isomorphism, we know that the what is the Tachyma space of gamma. So for example, the Koji function. So if you so Koji function is uh, actually the Tachyma space of the function representation. Okay, function. So, so it has a uh, the two the connected components and the quotient spaces. Uh, so sigma and uh, one is so one is sigma and the one is uh, sigma bar. So this is uh, oriented reverse the surfaces of the sigma. So the Koji function representation is uh, homeomorphic to the, this space. So we know that also the, this each Tachyma space of a surface is a homeomorphic to Rn. So this is a homeomorphic to R to N, to N like this. Okay. So we know that the space, the, the space of the Koji function, the representation, the, by using the bears, the isomorphism. So, uh, okay, so, and also the, this, so this, the Koji function representation the, is also the dance in the space of the discrete phase representation. So there was a, so, and the density conjecture. So, but uh, it was uh, solved by some the Taniguchi and so on. I don't know. Anyway, the, there is a, some density conjecture about uh, the, the geometry finite representation space. Okay, lastly, the, I want to, okay. So I want to give us uh, some simple the combination theorem. So this is a so-called uh, Kleinian combination theorem. 
So which gives us uh, some, some tool to, to construct the, some cranial group. If you have uh, some nice to the, the cranial groups with uh, good properties, okay? So explicitly speaking, the, the gamma one, gamma two is a cranial groups in basal to C and uh, the, with a fundamental domain D1 and D2, which is satisfied by uh, this one, okay? So then the generic the group gamma generated by the gamma and gamma two is a cranial group, the isomorphic to the, the pre free product of the gamma one and gamma two. And uh, furthermore, the so D1 intersection D2 is a fundamental domain of for the action of gamma on the Riemann sphere, okay? So this is a very uh, simple example for the cranial, the combination. Just to choose a two isometry, the Rosodium isometry A and B, so satisfying the roots, the, the picture the, like this. So A maps uh, this blue circle to the other the blue circle. So B maps uh, the red circle to the other red circle. Okay. So then the this part, okay. So this part, this part is a domain of discontinuity for the the gamma. So so generated by the A and B. Okay. So then the, you can see that the the quotient space. If you quotient the the domain of this continuity gamma the, by the gamma action, then you obtain uh, the genus two surface, and also you if you think of the the space, the hyperbolic space, quotient quotient hyperbolic space, then you obtain uh, the the handle body of genus two <clears throat> three manifold. So the by Applying the cranial combination, actually the, there is there is another the combination theorem, the so-called the Maskey combination theorem, the, and so on. Anyway, the, this combination theorem the, gives uh, the how you the, obtain uh, the this cranial group so from the two different uh, cranial groups. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I finish here. Yeah, thank you so much.